Hey guys, welcome back. Even though my channel mostly focuses on my Saab 95, I like to throw in some other content once in a while to keep it fresh. I did a few videos with my previous daily driver and I plan to do the same with my new one. This is my new 2015 Infiniti QX60. This model first came out in 2013 as the JX35, but Infiniti renamed all of their models around 2014, so this was renamed to the QX60. For modern standards, the car definitely looks a bit old, especially in the front with these HID projector headlights and the uninspiring lower section of the bumper. It however has a huge grille which is basically every car nowadays. The rear end with the sharp LED lamps still looks pretty good even after a decade. There was a minor facelift in 2016 which looks much better, but overall the shape and design remains the same. This is the fully loaded model which has all the options including these ginormous for its time 20 inch wheels. I think the wheels are one of the few elements that saves this car from looking even older. The side profile just looks like an SUV, if anything the proportions look a bit awkward. I don't know what it is but it reminds me of an old tortoise. Still, it looks decent with the swoopy body lines and the characteristic design at the D-pillar. The QX60 has the famous Nissan VQ engine. In this application, it comes in a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 that makes 265 horsepower and 248 pound-feet of torque. The power goes to all four wheels through the Achilles heel of this car, which is the CVT transmission. It has the typical downsides of a CVT such as feeling like you're driving with a rubber band on your feet and the uninspiring noise that comes with it. I won't go too deep into driving impressions, but the power feels perfectly adequate and the engine sounds amazing, feels silky smooth and the ride quality matches that smoothness. Being a 2015, it doesn't have all the latest safety features, but I think you'd be surprised to find intelligent cruise control, automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, lane departure prevention, rear cross traffic alert, and 360 degree camera. In terms of creature comforts, it's basically loaded to the gills. Two person memory seats, heated steering wheel, heated front and rear seats, ventilated front seats, power folding mirrors, rear entertainment system, which my kids absolutely love, panoramic sunroof, and power liftgate. In my opinion, the only two things this car needs to be a perfect daily driver is a more modern lane keep assist where it actually keeps you in the center of the lane instead of simply preventing you from going out of the lane and Apple CarPlay Android Auto head unit. The dealer was pretty desperate to sell as many cars as possible before the end of the year, so they paid off my BMW which ended up being about $6,000 over KBB trade in value. And considering the extended bumper to bumper and powertrain warranty until 120,000 miles and the absolute price to feature ratio bargain, I think I did pretty well. I know that maintenance and overall reliability would be much better and cheaper compared to the BMW, so I think I made a good choice. We've been driving this car for about a month and my family and I are very happy with the purchase, especially how roomy it is. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'll be making some videos on this car and doing some light mods, so let me know if you have any questions or comments about this car. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.